hi guys welcome back to my channel this is Ajilam here thank you so much for coming around and if this is your first time of coming across my channel kindly subscribe and turn on the bell icon so that you'll be the first to know anytime i post a new video and for my returning subscribers thank you so much for the love and support i really appreciate you all so for today's tutorial i'll quickly show you how to draft a lapel cut dress for a nine year old baby girl so if you're interested keep on watching by drafting out the body's pattern so now the body's length is 14 inches so i'm going to mark out 14 inches and connect that to a straight line so this is 14 this is 14 and then I'll connect so the next thing to do is to mark out the armhole measurement now the armhole measurement is 6.5 okay so I'm going to mark it here this is 6.5 and then I'll connect it to a straight line. Now the next thing to mark out is the chest pan um, measurements, which is always one inch downward from your chest, from the armhole line. You can just mark out one inch just here and connect. Or you can also mark from the shoulder line this way okay so this is one inch this is the chest pan line now I'm going to connect okay so now the next thing to do this is the waistline this is the chest pan line this is the armhole or the chest line and this is the shoulder line so on the shoulder line, I'm going to mark out the shoulder measurement, which is 6.5. That is 13 divided by 2. So this is 6.5. If you want to add sleeve, you at this point now you add your seam allowance. But I don't want to add sleeve to this dress. Okay, so now on this part, this is where you uh, mark out your neck width. So for this, I'll be making use of 2 and 3 quarter as the neck width so this is the point here and then i'm going to come down by half an inch for the shoulder slope so i'm going to connect the point okay so now on this armhole line i am going to mark out the shoulder measurements remember we are working with 6.5 so I'm going to mark it out here now. And then I'll connect. So after doing this now, you check the midpoints of this armhole here. So this is 6. To determine the midpoint, this is 3, which is half of that 6. And then I'll go in by half an inch now the next thing to do is to mark out the chest measurements now the chest measurement um, is 32 so 32 divided by 4 is 8 so I'm going to mark 8 here and then I'll connect using the French curve or you can also use your free hand to connect Okay, so this is what I have. Now the next thing to do is to mark out the chest pan measurement. Now for this, the chest pan measurement is 6.5. So half of that is 3 and quarter. So on this chest pan line, that is where I am going to mark out the 3 and quarter because I'll be adding that to this upper part. So this is 3 and quarter here. And I'll mark out the same on the waist line. And 
then I'll connect to a straight line. This part is really optional. If you like, you can skip it. But for me, I'll prefer adding that. So I'm going to connect now. Okay. So from this um, chest pan line, I am going to come down by 2 inches. Like this. Okay. Then on this waistline, I'm going to mark out the quarter an inch, which I'll be using to sew the darts. This is quarter an inch here. Okay, and then I'm con I'll connect it back to this point, and that is the darts. Now you can see how easy it is to form your darts. So I'm connecting it now. Okay, so after doing this now, I am going to mark out the waist measurement. Now, the waist measurement is 30 inches. So here, I'll, I'm going to mark out 7.5. That is 30 divided by 4 is 7.5. So this is 7.5. And now I am going to, whatever I use here, I am going to add it here. Now, this is quarter an inch on both sides. That is to say it's half inch i'm going to add a half inch here and then i'll connect remember this pattern i did not add any seam sewing allowance yet so i'll do that when we'll be drafting out the the lapel part that is where i'll be adding the sewing allowance so now for the neck depth you can decide how low or high you would want the neck depth to be okay so now for the neck depth i am going to use two and quarter you can also make use of two and a half or even three depending on how you want the neck depth to be so now i am going to mark out two and quarter which is here and then I'll connect. Now the body front bodies is ready. So I'm going to cut this off now and then I'll cut out the back pattern before we retrace this again. That is the part where we'll be adding the lapel to this part. this is what the front pattern looks like okay so now i'm going to cut out the back before we will now come back to this front pattern so i'm going to repeat almost the same thing i did on the front pattern so i will start by marking out the body's length which is 14 inches and then i'll connect that to a straight line So this is the body's length. Here now I am going to mark out one inch for my zipper allowance. So we mark, I'll mark out one inch and then I'll connect to a straight line. So this is my zipper allowance. Okay. So now I'm going to mark out the lines like I did. So I'm, I'm going to mark out the ammo line which is 6.5 and then I'll connect and also mark out the chest pan line which is 7.5 and then I'm going to connect all to a straight line so this is the lines after connecting I'm going to mark out the shoulder which is 6.5 so that is the point there remember every all your markings should start or end on this zipper line so i'm going to mark out the same shoulder measurement here as well and then i'm going to connect the points together so after connecting now i'll just come down by half an inch for the shoulder slope so this is half an inch here for the shoulder slope and remember that we're using two and three quarter as the neck 
width so this is it here now for the neck depth i will just use half an inch okay because i want it to be up i don't want it to be too low then i am going to connect okay so now i'm going to connect this point to this point Now the next thing to do is to mark out the chest measurement which is 8 inches that is 36 I'm sorry 32 divided by 4 so that is the point there now I'm just I'll take my French curve and I'll just connect straight back to this armhole line you don't need to go in by any inch so that is the back now on this waist area i am going to the same thing i did now for the chest pan line i am going to mark out the chest pan measurement which is 6.5 and half of that is three and quarter which is what i am marking here now this is three and quarter and then i'll connect to a straight line So the next thing to do is also mark out the quarter and inch for the dart. This is it. And then I'll connect it now straight to this point. There's no need for you to go down by any inch. You just connect it straight. This is the back. So you don't need to come down by any inch. So now this is the dart for the back pattern. Okay, and we are almost done. Now the next thing to do is to mark out the waist measurement which is 7.5 and then whatever you have, whatever you're using as um, the dart, you have to add it back to this point. So that is half an inch and then I'm going to connect. And remember that I did not add any sewing allowance yet but I'll do that later. So that is how to draft the back pattern so i'm going to cut this out now and then we'll come back to this front pattern but remember to come up by half an inch on this waist area because this is a gown so you need to come up so that the back waist line will have the perfect fit that you desire if you cut out this way it will be too long at the back but if you're making a jacket there's no need to come to come up by any inch so i'm going to mark half an inch and then i'll connect it back to that point there and then i'm going to cut it's just as simple as that my front pattern looks like and this is what the back looks like so now i'm going to take um, a plain paper now and i'll place this front pattern on it and then trace it all out so here i have a plain paper so this is my pattern on a plain sheet of paper now i'm going to leave three inches here remember that i'll be adding a lapel to this um, part so I'm going to leave up to three inches space on this side and I'll leave just half an inch on this other end just for the sewing allowance. And then I'm going to pin this before I'll start tracing it out. So this is three inches now. This is half inch. Then I'm going to pin it now as it is.
clean it out this is what i have so i'm going to remove my pin and then i'll connect the points very well before we continue So this is the armhole line or the chest line. This is the chest pan line here. Okay. And then the darts, you have to put it again, which is three and quarter. And then I'll connect it to that point there. Remember that we came down by two and um, two inches, and for the darts, that is the seam for the darts. We use quarter an inch. Here you can also use half an inch. Okay, it's up to you. So I am connecting it back now. Okay, so now we are ready to continue. Now after connecting it this way. You have to add either half an inch or three quarter inch for the button allowance if you want to add button but that is needed so that it will create the ease when you want to um, keep your lapel the way it's supposed to be so I'm going to use three quarter inch which is here so I'm going to mark that all the way down and then I'll connect it to a straight line so this is it this is the three quarter inch okay so you just connect it back I'm going to use this to blend it back on this neck area okay so after doing that now you can decide where you would want the break point to be that is where you want your lapel to start or to end okay whichever way so for me i would like to um, come down by one inch from this chest palm line you can decide to make your break point at this um whole line or even on this chest palm line or even um on the waistline depending on how you want your dress to be but for me i will just come down by one inch from this um chest pan line this is one inch here this is where i would want the break point that is my lapel where i want it to start or end now from this point now this is it here you can now decide on this neck area where you want it to start or end as well whichever way you prefer it so for me i don't want it to come up to this end because there'll be no color so i'll just Check what I have here. Okay, I can just come down by um, see one and three quarter, which is this point. That is where I would want the lapel to start or end from. This is one and three quarter. Okay, so on that point now, I am going to place my ruler and connect it to that point. Okay. Now you can see that this is so easy and simple. It's just up to you how you want your lapel to be. So now, after doing this now, on this part, you can decide to come out so that you have um, what you want. This part, you can decide your lapel to be bold or slim or medium, however you'd want it to be. You can decide that. So for me, I am going to come mark out from this point now i'll be using one and three quarter i don't want it to be that too much okay so this is one and three quarter here i am going to blend this line back to that place now with this one and three quarter i am going to have a medium but not too bold lapel so it's up to you if you want it small you can just use quarter an inch you can also leave it the way it is it's up to you how you want yours to be okay so after that now i will just connect it back to this 
breakpoint, this breakpoint here. And you can see that it's very easy and simple. So when connecting, you can decide the shape of your lapel. If you want it just straight, you connect it straight. If you want it curvy, you can just use um, your French curve, okay, this way. And just give it a slight curve. You can just set it well and give it a slight curve. That is if you want it curvy. Now you can see the difference. If you want it straight, you just connect it straight. If you want it a bit um, curvy, you use your turn your French curve the other way and then give it the shape that you would want. So the next thing to do now is to put the necessary sewing allowance. So you can see that it's very easy and simple to draft a lapel cut um, bodies if you want to make a gown or a dress for a baby girl. So now on this shoulder line, I'll just add quarter an inch, which is what I normally use to sew the shoulder area. Okay, so I'm just adding the sewing allowance now. Okay, and then I'll just connect. Now if you want to add sleeve, you need to add your sewing allowance even up to the armhole area. But if you don't want to add sleeve, you can just go with that it's still okay so i'm just blending it back okay and it's just as easy and simple as that and then for the seam we are going to add it all over remember i said i used quarter an inch so i'm going to place my tape following that line now okay and connect mark out all my sewing allowance so i'm using quarter an inch okay if you're not sure you can use half an inch to be on the safe side and then you connect okay i will also add all on this other part as well so i'm assuming i'm using this curvy one so i'll be placing my tape on this curvy line now to mark if you want to use the straight you just place your tape on the straight line and mark out all this, the sewing allowance okay so it's so easy and simple to go about so after doing all that now you can now cut it out and it's just simple like that and you're good to go so at this point you can use your hand and just you know connect the lines so after connecting i'm going to cut it out so that you see the shape or how it looks like So now this is, remember this half um, inch here is for the sewing allowance. And on the side, I'll add one inch, which is what I normally use for my sewing allowance. And then I'll connect the points. Okay, so I'm going to cut it out now and I'll show you how the shape looks. How it looks, as you can see, it's already set. All you have to do, this is where you, your, you want the your break point to be. Just on that point, you just fold it in. And you see, like I said, mine is... You have to follow that line mine is um a bit um not too big because i've added the sewing allowance so this is where i want it to be now you can see that it's very easy and simple to draft so that is it for today please subscribe if you have not and watch out for the sewing part of this tutorial so see you all soon